this is a quick demonstration on this topic here, how to embed views in Salesforce. So step number one, go to your Tableau online and find the workbook that you want to embed in Salesforce. So in my example, I'm going to show my projects. I have some demo content here, and I would like to embed this little guy here. A very simple visualization in my case, but it could be a, a, a dashboard as well. Then click this button here, the share button, and copy this link here. And then go to a new tab and just test the link, and you see that it's still showing the Tableau frame around. So what you need to do is find the URL where you have the question mark. Everything after the question mark are parameters. So what you want to do is delete all the parameters and keep uh, only two parameters. So you do that. Keep the question mark and put this uh, uh, column. Embed equals yes. I'm going to hit enter. And you see that now this is embedded. It doesn't have the Tableau online uh, UI around. But it still has this toolbar at the bottom, which I don't want to show in Salesforce. So I'm going to add a new parameter. So ignore this hash 8. This is a session number. You can delete that. Um, and say end commercial and put another of the symbol here and say toolbar equals n for no. Hit enter. And the toolbar is gone now. Amazing. So this is exactly what we want to embed. So I'm going to delete this hash, copy this whole link. All right, it's copied. Now we need to go to Salesforce and create a custom object that points to that URL. So I'll do that now. I'll, I'm in Salesforce, connected as an admin. And I need to go to the configuration button here on the top right hand corner and then set up. Then you find here the visual force. Visual Force pages. And then you will need to create a new one. So you can create a new one with this little button here. I'm going to just start from a template because that's quicker. So I have this Alex test here and this one Alex test. So I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to clone. And in your case, you can start a new one and delete everything because I'll send you this template. So I'm going to call Alex test 3. And what I need to do is put here in this URL. So let's scroll. In this area here, I need to paste that new link. That's it. Uh, make sure you click, click this save, available for Lightning Experience, Lightning Community, and mobile app, so that uh, wherever a user accesses this, it works. And I'm going to click Save now. And just let's make sure it's working. So to make sure it's working, you just click Preview. And it should basically redirect to the correct URL. So apparently, it didn't work because it's not redirecting. So let's try to understand what is wrong in here. So I'm going to edit again. And I can immediately see my mistake. Uh, it's missing the quotes here for the URL. Yeah, I should close that URL here. Perfect. So save. That's why it's important to test, review, and now it redirects correctly to the embedded page. All right, so we have the component we want to embed. Now we need to choose the page we want to embed. So for that, I'm going to navigate back to Salesforce, and I'm going to choose uh, a page here um, where I want to add my widget. So that it, uh, I'm calling this Tableau widget. And it happens to be this one. And yeah, you see that I already have a Tableau dashboard here, but I'll put one maybe above or below that. So what we need to do is go back again here to the setup and choose Edit Page. And now all, these are all the components that we can drag and drop to start composing our page. These are all the objects that we can bring to a page. So I want to bring one visual force component. And I'm going to drop in this area here. As you can see, I can move around and choose the place. So I want to drop around here, above this one. And this uh, widget now can be populated. So what I want is to find that X Alex 
test three. And it's already showing there, but it's showing that label here, which I don't want to show the label. So I'm going to exclude the label. And then we can set the height as well in pixels, maybe 500. Um, yeah, 500 looks good to me. So that's it. So I click Save. And I will go back and leave this developer mode. And let's preview if that works. All right, amazing, it's working. So this is now rendering our visualization and it isn't even has some amazing tool chips in this case, which we haven't explored in your visual analytics um, process. But yeah, just so you know, this is an option in Tableau Desktop. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, I will sh send you the other video as well with the configuration for the role level security.